Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to convert audio to MIDI easily and accurately. So here we are inside Melodyne Studio. It's a fantastic paid for piece of software, but does a great job of converting audio to MIDI. I'll show you how it works with these uh, stems from one of our jingles. Now I have tried this in other software uh, like Logic Pro X and other audio to MIDI kind of bits of software, but I've not found anything as accurate as Melodyne. Let me drag these two bits of audio in right now. Now you see right here on the first track, I've got the Sonic logo from our jingle, and on the second track, I've got a bit of piano. Have a listen to the piano. So as you can hear, quite complicated, lots of chords going on there, so a lot of work for Melodyne to do. Whereas this one here, if I listen to this on solo, it's just notes. So it should be pretty easy for Melodyne to figure that out. Let's first of all start off with this one. And uh, yeah, there are your notes. Uh, very easy to see that we've got an F sharp here going down, 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 and then up at the end. If I want that to be MIDI, I would go to Algorithm and I could choose Melodic or something like that, Redetect, and you get a different, more accurate kind of view there. But of course, I do want to go for the wonderful MIDI sound. So how do I do that? Very easy, export, and I choose the format to be MIDI. And then it's going to export all of those notes as a MIDI file. I can then drag it into uh, any editor that I work with that uh, handles MIDI, and immediately I'll be able to do whatever I want, change the instrument, etc., etc. A little more tough on this dance piano, but as you can see, wow! It has immediately pulled in all the notes here and it's done a very good job of it. So there is a, a MIDI structure you'll be familiar with if you've worked with MIDI before. I can take these notes and you see it's a lovely a MIDI editor even inside Melodyne where I can just play with the notes at the start. So they're all there, all the notes are there, very complicated MIDI track there. Again, what I would do is I would take that track, export, and it's going to be a MIDI file. I can choose individual range for each track, um, which is probably the best because what it will do is save the MIDI files into their own different places. So let me create a new folder, Jingle MIDI we'll call it. There it is, and then click open, and then within moments, if we look through, into my lovely documents there, and we'll go into, where is it right here? Somewhere around here. I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> it's definitely in there. Here we go, we've got some MIDI files in here. Jingle MIDI, there it is. The MIDI files, so it's got everything here. It's got your untitled tracks as well, which we don't need, uh, but these here are just general MIDI files. You can open them up now in any MIDI editor and immediately change the instrument, mess about, change the duration, the anything you want to do with the notes, you can, you can do it very easily. So converting audio to MIDI, absolute breeze inside Melodyne Studio.